Stop, brother. Uh -oh. Woo. Oh. oh, I like it. I like it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. We've got a little FD installment for you today. We're heading off to the dyno with Abel Ibarra and the boys over at Official DNA Garage. If you don't already follow them on Instagram, you should because the content's dope if you're into RX-7s and rotaries in general. At any rate, today we're installing an FD trigger mag from a company called Full Function Engineering. This is a part that after our dyno tuning session last week, Abel recommended that I install. And it's definitely a part that I wouldn't have normally installed, I don't think, because the uh, trigger on the engine from the factory is actually pretty good. Uh, if, if you're not familiar with the, um, the trigger mag, this is what it is. This is a kit that you buy, and it's a new trigger wheel, um, a new uh, magnet mount, the new hardware for the wheel to mount to the engine or to the um, eccentric shaft, and then two spacers for the uh, magnet mount itself. So what this does, this is actually how it looks once it's installed. So the magnet that's here, I actually already have. That's an OEM part. And then we're basically replacing our old wheel with this new um, trigger wheel here. And what this accomplishes is higher resolution when you tune and uh, it's just a lot more precise than the stock component, which is here. As you can see, this is the old wheel and this is our old magnet pickup that we're going to reuse. Now this system actually utilizes two of these. We are only going to be using this one. So in order to install this, you can see it's pretty well buried back here in the engine bay. I've got to remove this belt and I've got to remove this belt in order to access those. This is actually a pretty simple install. You can't really screw this up because this wheel only goes on one way. Um, so you don't have to worry about top dead center and all that stuff. This will only go on one way. And so when you take your old components off, um, everything else goes back on the way it came off. Now what I am going to do is I am going to take my trusty yellow marker pen and I'm going to mark the pulley position just to be safe. Um, but I don't really think it's necessary. Um, I like to overdo things and complicate things. So I'm going to do that anyway. I guess that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this part costs about 175 bucks with shipping. I think it was about 190 bucks. And again, it isn't uh, something that is necessary, but it is something that uh, my tuner in particular requested that I install before the next tuning session. So we're going to do it. If the tuner is happy, he's going to be happy making more power out of my car and feel more comfortable while he's tuning it. So I think it's worth it. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so this is our old mag trigger here, and we'll be replacing it with the new mag trigger that looks like this. As you can see, these both have additional dowel holes here so that they can only go one way. And we'll be sorting that out in a moment as to how it goes on here. Once these, now that these are off, we'll go ahead and remove this bracket as well. It's like two 10 millimeters and we'll unplug these sensors.
Okay, I've got everything taken apart now. I'm gonna go ahead and actually grab some cleaner degreaser um, that we have on the shelf over there from, from uh, Meguiar's. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray down this portion of the engine. Um, during our teething issues with the engine initially, we had some minor oil spray that had uh, come from our oil breather neck that uh, well, before we had the catch can hooked up. So some oil residual got on the front of the engine cover and it's actually collected just dirt from driving over the road. So I wanna go ahead and get that cleaned up since we have everything pulled off the motor right now in the front. Uh, we don't often have access to that area. So now's a good time to clean it while we have it apart. All right, so this trigger wheel kit's actually um, pretty trick. So we're basically reusing the, an old magnetic sensor that was on the system already. This is a factory magnet sensor. And basically what it does is it threads through here on this bolt. It reaches through this bracket. This is really hard to do with one hand. Reaches through there. And then they've supplied an additional spacer that goes on here, which is allows this all to bolt together and bolt onto the engine, just like that. Here we have our holes. And it appears I'm gonna have to remove this stud from the engine. So we'll go ahead and get going on that right now. Once that stud's out, I'll go ahead and mount the kit and we should be good to go. Okay, so it turns out we had to remove both of the studs off the block. I used my, the double nut. That's what she said. <laughs> double nut trick to remove this, uh, the studs. So they're both out. This is what they look like. And now we're on to putting the longer bolts in. We need to get these bolts and these bolt holes. With the spacers and the new mag reader. A few moments later. All right, so I forgot to hit record. Actually, I was over here bullshitting, but anyway, we got the uh, we got the mag sensor in now. It's right here on its new bracket, which is really tough to see because it's black. But I actually like that about it. And I've got the uh, the actual trigger plate in place. Again, you can't screw this up. There's two dowel pins. If you take it 180 out, these bolt holes don't line up, so you cannot screw this up. Um, anyway, it looks cool. I'm happy with it. I hope it, uh, I hope it nets us some results on the dyno. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up putting the pulleys back on and fastening them down with our Downstar hardware. Then I have to fire up the computer and uh, log into Haltech's uh, software and then change some settings in there so that I can fire this thing up on this new uh, mag trigger setup. A few minutes later. All right, so I had to put the camera down while I was doing that. I didn't time lapse, unfortunately, but I got both of the uh, pulleys back on. Our trigger wheel and device is in place. This is actually like a, I don't know, two or three out of 10 level difficulty install. Very simple and straightforward. It doesn't come with any instructions, which is a little troubling, um, but the job is very straightforward. I mean, you're basically just taking off an item and replacing it with their parts. It's really self-explanatory. Doesn't probably need instructions, but for a novice, um, well, maybe a novice shouldn't be installing this, but I don't know. It's pretty easy. If you have an FD with 13B REW or an RX-8 with a Renesis, or even I think they have a kit for the 12A as well, it's probably a nice upgrade if you've got an aftermarket ECU and want to, uh, have a potentially a cleaner tune or um, yeah, just have a better setup. Uh, it's probably a nice upgrade. We're gonna find out tomorrow on the dyno. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish button this up. I'm gonna put the belts back on and get everything tightened back down. And then uh, it's on to the ECU. All right, boys, so it's been about an hour. I've got 
the homies from DNA Garage on the phone here. A little FaceTime action. Say hi, Louie. What's up, what's up? You're being vlogged right now. So, one cool thing about technology is that I can actually be on the computer remotely with Louie. He's actually controlling my computer inside the FD right now uh, via Team um, team Viewer, which is a cool little uh, thing that allows us to actually share the screen together. So after we did the upgrade on the trigger wheel, uh, we retimed the car and we got it idling at the correct uh, idle. And now we're updating our firmware uh, on the Haltech system. So we're gonna go ahead and finish that up, um, but we've got some, uh, some big plans for this car in the coming days. So we'll bring you guys along for that journey. So thank you guys so much for your subscriptions and uh, tuning into all our great videos lately. We appreciate it. Peace out. We'll see you very soon.